2005, I did ITF. Because it was like, I'll tell you that story. So I left 2002, and then 2003, 2004, 2005, all I copped was everyone going, Samurai's come, like, not coming back. Samurai's not coming back. He can't do it anymore. He's over it. He's done. He can't keep up with these guys. He can't do it. He's not as talented. He's not as skilled. I copped it for three years. I copped the scene. And this is, this is where it worked out. Because I knew I was, like, getting pushed. Like, as I said before, there was me and then there was them. And they wanted it, so I was out. So they put it on themselves. You killed yourself with that. I'm so glad. I'm so glad you called me out for three years. Call me out for three years. And what happened? What happened? I took a massive dump on the whole scene. Came back and took a massive dump. And we all know it. Like, this is how, this is how bad, this is how bad it was. So for three years, I got called out. Constantly. Called out constantly. Oh, no, you know, he's whack. He can't do it anymore. That's why he doesn't do it anymore, because these guys are better. I was like, mm, okay, no worries. Cool. ITF came up. And I was like, all right, cool. All right, no worries. I entered, and I, yeah, I entered, like, three days beforehand. Like, I hit him up, hit up Casey, and I was like, yo, I'm entering. I was like, okay. This is how I'm always prepared. Like, that's where people underestimate me. Like, I might not do these competitions, but I have a passion for putting routines together. Like, I live for it. I live and breathe it. I'll wake up. As I did 15 years ago, wanting to do juggles and routines and scratch routines, I, to, to, today, I still wake up with that same passion. I want to make routines. So I never, when I was doing blazing and doing all this stuff, I was still in my, like, in my setup, still coming up routines. I had piles of routines. I was like, all right, these guys want to call me out. Cool. I'm going to wait to the, the most opportune moment when there's like, the, the the heavies are in it. And it was. There was the heavies. So who was in it? In the, there in was J-Red. There was Perplex. There was... There were all these other dudes who were like killing it at the time. There was names. There was some names. I was like, all right, cool. I'm, I'm, I'm coming straight in heavy. And I remember like being... I remember being at the like the roll call thing where they pull everyone's name out of the hat. And we're like sitting around... Like all these DJs sitting around and I'm there. And then everyone's like kind of coming up They're like, oh man, are you judging? Like, oh, you just came here to, to check it out. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And then they pull, when they pull my name out of the hat, the, the whole place, the faces just dropped. <laughs> everyone's face dropped. I was like, all right, cool. No worries. Then... I remember like about half an hour later, Casey came up to me and he's like, he's like, yo man, we've had like seven guys pull out already. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> like, yeah, man, as soon as your name got called, it was like, <laughs> dudes are just pulling out now. Wow. <laughs> and I'm like, why? Just do it, man. Just do it. Anyway, so um, I remember that night. That's the night I, I, I was kind of like, it was the first competition I'd won and didn't feel satisfied. That really was the nail in the coffin for me to go, I'm done with com competing. There's no challenge anymore. I, and it, it was the worst. I remember like, I remember standing on the side of the stage, looking down at all the competitors after my first round, because these are the same guys that were calling me out. And so I ended. I came. I came to battle. It was a battle. I came to battle. Um, I remember like standing on the side of the stage after the first battle, and I think it was perplex. Just, just uh, it was like annihilation. I was like, really? Is this? I you called me back. Like you called me out, and you bring me this weak, weak shit. Like what an insult. Mm. It's like insulting to me. So 
So I remember standing on the side of the stage. There's like there all the guys there, and I was like, I remember like saying, from this point on, don't step on this stage unless you are hundred percent gonna beat me. If you don't feel a hundred percent that you're gonna beat me, don't bother. Don't step one foot on this stage. I'm winning tonight. I own this motherfucker right now. Don't step here. Don't even get on the stage. Just pull out. Like, don't do it. Unless you're 100% going to beat me, then don't bother. And then it was just like, the next guy, blank, done. Like, murdered. I was like, what did I say? Like, what did I say? Like, you call me out, and then you, this is what you're going to give me? And then I had J-Red in the final. And I was like, finally, the main guy calling me out. Let's do this. He's going to come hard. All right, cool. So I do my routine. And then he does this his routine. And I'm like, is that it? I'm like, what? Is that it? I was like, oh, okay. What, 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 am I, what am I doing here now? Cause this is this is embarrassing. So, and this video, I pulled out one. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna like do this one turntable routine that I do for fun at home. But I'm gonna do it, and I'm gonna give him one of my turntables. So I, so I pulled out one of the turntables. I walked it over to the other side of the stage. And I give it to him, and he's like, what's wrong? Is it broken? I was like, no. I'm just going to beat you with one. That's how easy it is. And then they were like, Urgh. and the crowd was like, Urgh. and I was like, which is a funny story. And I beat him with one. It was like, and because then he came back with some like other routine. I was like, what? What is this? But the thing was, is like, this is, disheartening it's no diss to those guys like they might take it if they watch this like and you want to take it as a diss take it as a diss i don't give a shit i'm not dissing you i'm just saying if you're going to call someone out for three years and then they return ooh, <sighs> slaughter me like i came there to go okay cool cool i i, I should be destroyed tonight I'm the old guy right now who hasn't entered in three years. I haven't done any competitions. I haven't done nothing in three years. Cool. I'm meant to be, like, booted out. Like, yeah, good. Don't come back. And it wasn't. It was, like, the opposite way. And I won. And I was just like, I don't feel good. I used to win competitions and be like, yeah, like, that, that feeling you get. Any turntables knows when they win a competition, that feeling they get when they win, it was taken away. It was just like... I feel like I just took a kid's ice cream from him, like a little child, and then bashed him and then walked around like, look how strong I am, I can, I am the man. Like, that, there's, no, there's no win in that. There's, there's no win. There's no feeling like you the man. So I was like, you know what? I'm done. I'm done. I'm like, now I'm officially, now we're done. Because if I'm not getting that sense of challenge, you know, that push-pull, like, oh, am I going to win? Am I not going to win? And there's no, win? like... Do I need to step up? Yeah. Do I need to do this? Do I, I need to do this better? I need to kind of... If you're just coming in and just, like, laying waste with ease, it wasn't even, like, close. If it would have been close, then, like, have me worried. Have me, like, after every round, I was just like... Yeah, man, so... I was like... It's not even close. It's not even worth it anymore. If it's not close, it's not worth it. So I just stepped away. And then right after that, that's when Channel V kind of stepped in. The, the, the lesson. Oh, yeah.